Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Jiggly Billy, titled, Your small budget isn't my problem, buddy. I would like to buy your 12-core Mac Pro 48GB RAM for $125. <laughs> no. Huh? It's outdated. If you change your mind, let me know. Maybe for a one-half one, not a four-one-fifth one. How much would you really take? $500. Go find another dual CPU model for less. Stop it! Give me a realistic number that you would actually take! $500, dude. There isn't another dual CPU 4 one fifth one for less than $800 on the market. It's priced low to move quick. I'm trying to work with you here. I'll do $300. <laughs> no, you're not. Do some research. Let me know when your budget increases. Yes, I am. We're at a $200 difference. You can work with it. I take a $200 loss because some dude on OfferUp can't increase his budget? I'll make you a deal. You find another dual CPU, 4 one fifth one for $300, and I'll consider it. It's not a loss. You're already selling it for less than market. I need you to decrease your budget. I have cash ready. Life is all about negotiations. It's not a defeat on your side if you accept less than what you posted for. Yup, $500 is less than market, but it's as low as I'm willing to go. I could ask even more for it, but I'm wanting it gone sooner. If you think you're the only interested party, you're mistaken, buddy. Go find $200 more and we will talk. Seller, stop it! I'm trying to work with you here. Nobody ever said I'm the only interested party. They obviously offered you less than your $500 price, otherwise it would be gone, right? Think about it, man. It's not that bad. You get cash and you move on. Clearly you need what I have since there aren't that many around and zero priced anywhere near mine. I don't have to accept less just because you think it's worth less. I've asked twice for a number that you would actually take other than the inflated $500 price. I actually have someone meeting me tomorrow around lunch to pick it up, and another when I get off work if they pass on it. You want it today? $500. Inflated? Dude, fuck off. It's worth what it's worth. Sorry your tiny budget can't afford it. Go buy someone else's. Seller, you're having a meltdown. There's no need to get mad about it. I offered a price, and you're flipping out about it. Get a grip. <laughs> Sis, I'm fine. More amused that you keep going on about it. Let's do some business. Dude, nobody tells someone to fuck off if they're a normal person. At this point, I'm here offering you advice, which is worth way more than $500. You should be paying me. Dude, all I did was offer a price, and you flipped out over it. I'm not even angry. I'm still trying to do business and get a realistic number. You basically melt it down into a puddle of shit mush. Get a grip, regroup, and let's figure this out. How about we meet in the middle? You're at five, I'm at three. Four hundred dollars, we shake hands and call it a deal. I'm not haggling with you. You want it? Five hundred dollars. Take it or leave it. You're only willing not to haggle because you're going to take it as a personal defeat. Sad stuff, man. <laughs> I'm not willing to haggle because it's already well under market value, and I've got two other people who want it. I'm in no rush. I ain't desperate for money, but it's worth what it's worth. $400 and it's a deal. Tonight. No deal. Good luck hunting. I hope you get help, man. Honestly, never seen someone flip out this hard. How did they flip out? They're stating the facts of what their thing is worth. You, on the other hand, are trying every which way you can to get an already discounted item discounted further. How did that work, beggar? Clearly not too well. This next one is by The Alchemist, titled Sob Stories Get Old Quick. I can buy a brand new for $14.99 on eBay. Free shipping. I would give you $5. Or you can buy it on eBay. I will. Thumbs up. No you won't, cause you're trying to resell it. I wouldn't buy it to try to resell it for more because it's not worth it. 
I don't deal in nickel dime merchandise. I just wanted it for a kid in need. Well, I guess the kid wasn't worth $15 for a brand new toy. That seems to be the trend with these beggars though. They never want to pony up the cash, especially when it comes to their kid, but they want to use their kid every chance they can. This next one is from Igrizati, titled, This Woman That Contacted My Mom About A Kid's Watch. New Kitty Zoom Smartwatch, $35. How much can it be cost? $35. I can pay you five. I'm sorry, what? Pay, can I pay you another price? No. Do you have a kid? That's none of your concern. Why do you ask? Because the toy that you have, I thought you might have a kid. Do you know me? Okay, bye. Do you know me? Tell me my name. What the fuck? Sorry, but you're being weird. Please stop messaging me. You are being weird. No, you're the one going in asking if they have a kid. What does them having a kid have anything to do with them selling an item and you paying the price that they're asking? This next one is by K Briggs 730 titled, Tried to sell my 20 gallon mandarin fish tank last November. Did not go as planned. Hi, is the fish tank still available? I saw the Craigslist ad. Yes, you can pick it up after 5 p.m. any day this week. My address is here. You're not going to deliver it for me? You should be ashamed of yourself. My son Rilt wants to have a fish tank so that he can have a fish. I already promised him that I would get him the fish tank and now you're saying that he can't even have it. You're taking this away from him. I hope you're happy. You have ruined his Christmas. Thanks a lot, horrible word. Hello? Wow, not even going to respond? You're an asshole. Is the fish tank still available? What? The post very clearly says you need to come pick it up. Also, mandarin fish are not a good choice for beginners. They are very difficult to take care of. And your rude attitude tells me that you aren't ready to take care of it. Are you fucking kidding me? How dare you tell me and my son that he's not ready to take care of it. It's just a fish. Plus, I told him that he has to take care of it, not me. <laughs> You're the one who is being rude. All I asked is that you deliver the fish tank and you can't even do that for my son. I'll have to tell him that you let him down because you're a huge asshole. Excuse me? It is not just a fish. Fish deserve happy and healthy lives, unlike you. I was going to offer you a second chance, but you've blown it. I don't think you were going to give me the $400 to buy the tank. This is over. I hope you drown in your fish tank. Blocked. Well, I mean, they'd have to be pretty small to end up in their fish tank to be able to drown in it. And I don't think like they were thinking, you're going to pay for the fish tank. Quite frankly, if you weren't willing to do the little steps to pay for the item, how are you going to do the steps required to care for the fish? This next one is from 20-something titled, I, I can't even. Fossil Explorist Q Smart Watch. Can you possible to deliver a Portsmouth? Uh, possibly. Depends where in Portsmouth. That would be my partner delivering, so it would be up to him. <laughs> South Sea and any discount, please. Probably not if you want us to deliver it, too. <laughs> Sorry, I will pay 30 pounds. Uh, no. You want to take 20 off and have us deliver it? <laughs> That seems to be the going trend with beggars nowadays. Not only do they want a discount on the items, but they also want delivery on top of it. This next one is by Shetlock, titled, This Choosing Beggar Threatens to Kill Person Over a $150 Chair. Hi, is the chair still available? Yup, the chair is currently available. Just come pick it up whenever. Cool. Hey, can I get it for free? My son is ill and I need to pay his medical bills and stuff, so can I have it for free, please? I don't think you can have it for free. I currently need money. If you need to pay for medical bills, I don't recommend buying a $150 chair. I would think your son is more important than your chair. But shut up. You wouldn't know. I need to sit. Bitch, give me the chair. I'll fucking kill you. You're threatening to kill someone over a chair, not to mention you put that in writing, so there you go. If anything happens to that person, you're going to be suspect number one. Enjoy! 
And our final one is from Legal Beagle Bagel, titled Some People. $18, home stereo speakers. Yes, it's available. Can you provide delivery? Sorry, local pickup only. Can you send it USPS? I'm in here. You'd pay more for shipping then for the speakers. Shipping is $40 to $60 because of their size. I will give you $40 including delivery, okay? That doesn't even cover shipping costs, let alone the speakers. As I said in the last one, this is seriously becoming a trend between the beggars where they want discounts on top of discounts and then they want delivery. If they would just do a little bit of research, do their homework, they would realize that what people are asking is usually a pretty good deal. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, we're so close to 20k, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload. I'm back on track now, and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.